Hey everybody, it's another episode of Movie Couple Eats Bite Size, and this time we are trying out various snacks from H Mart. It's actually the first time we visited H Mart, and mm -hmm. we went a little nuts in the store, but there were a lot of <laughs> great snacks, uh, including what we're going to start this video with. And these are, I, I'm going to say it wrong, it's called Samanko, maybe? It's like, it's an ice cream treat that is shaped like, like a, a fish, fish, kind of like a taiyaki sort of a deal. Yeah. Um, and it's got vanilla and chocolate in it. And we're gonna give it a try. I think it's so I cute was and it's just about, like, so big. We had just had like a little bit of a liner and I went into the freezer. Explain to them what a liner is. A liner, it's between lunch and dinner. Just in case they've never heard the term before, because oh. I don't think it is an existing term. Oh, I thought it was. I think you made it up. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, we were having like a late dinner or an early dinner, late lunch. And I was like, okay, for dessert, I'm gonna grab one of these that we got. And when he's like, wait, we should put we should on, film this. And I'm like, oh, you're, put the camera you're right. On. We've never had these before. And I was so excited when we saw these in um, the store. I'm like, yeah. super excited to eat it. And this will be great because I literally just had the instant noodle from hell. <laughs> My mouth hasn't recovered yet. So this is going to be a nice treat to, uh, well, to kind of follow up that meal that I didn't finish. Okay. Ready? <gasps> oh, ding. Fish kiss. Oh, wait, you're right. Fish kiss. Mm -hmm. Mwah! We're All right, so quirky. I know. I'm sorry, guys. I, I think I like eat from the tail. Mmm. Oh. Oh my Yummy. god. I'm having. What the heck? I'm having a moment. Okay. I'm having a moment. Oh. There's a place. Are you okay? This is so good. You cry? A little. <laughs> Yes, I love it when food has that effect oh. on people. So, when before COVID, there was this place, um, an ice cream place that that's near us. It's called Somi Somi, and it's essentially a fish-shaped cone, but it's not hard. It's soft, like bready. It's um, got like, and then they put a uh, soft serve in it, and you can get different flavors like matcha, milk, uh, black sesame, and I think milk tea. Mm -hmm. And normally we would just get like the matcha and the uh, milk or just the milk or whatever and you can top it off with different toppings and on the inside they put a little cream in it or you can get red bean paste which is also great and we always put what is it um fruity pebbles, fruity pebbles on top on i love fruity kids. pebbles um but yeah this is reminding us so much of that of what we can't get currently because mm -hmm. the ice cream place isn't open because the mall's not it's open. in the mall but so this yeah this is oh my a gosh. great substitute mm. This is amazing. I'm so like, good! What? The I love... What, I don't know exactly what to call the outside. Like the wafer or like the... Yeah, um, I guess so, huh? But it's very thin and it's, it's just not pastry. I, don't, I, I like the fact that it's it. not crunchy. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that it's just kind of nice and soft and just blends in with the ice cream and the chocolate yeah. so well. And the vanilla ice cream is really good. It's yummy. It's so good. Mm. Really happy that we bought this. Um, so yeah, if you are um, got an H Mart near you and you're looking for what kind of dessert, like ice cream treat, this is one to get. And again, it's called, mm, I'm so gonna good. say it wrong. I'm sorry if I am, please correct me in the comment section if I'm <laughs> saying it wrong. Uh, it's either Samanko or, yeah, I guess Samanko. Samanko? Samanko, sure. Probably. My Either way, would be totally... it's delicious, and you should absolutely get it. It also comes in strawberry, but we didn't pick up strawberry. We should have. Oh, we should have. We can go back. The chocolate mm -hmm. is a darker chocolate, mm -hmm. which is, which goes really well with this. Mm. Okay, well, thanks for joining us. I'm gonna have the rest of this moment with Miss with my ice mm -hmm. cream treat. Bye. And stay tuned because there's mm. tons more clips following this one with more snacks and treats from H Mart. We're back with another snack. Dustin got the cravings for some shrimp. crab. Oh, sorry, I wanted to say shrimp chips. <laughs> Not the shrimp chips. We were eating that. They're crab chips. They're crab chips. No, I've never had crab chips. So I'm a little curious. Sniff it. I've never had these either, honestly. They smell kind of like shrimp chips. Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to okay, take two. One. You're going to take two? Fine. I'm going to take two as well. Think. Ooh. Okay. Very light, airy texture, almost kind of like that air pop, but not like popcorn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taste. And what is it? They're mm. very much like crab chips in the texture. 
how they're airy, but they're less crunchy. They're a lot, they are a lot softer. These are great. I don't know what. Yeah. 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 Um, Very know, light. Let's see. Not heavily, not heavily seasoned. Yeah. But you kind of get like that, more of like a crab aftertaste. I like these a lot, actually. These are pretty good, I have to admit. Who knew? Crab chips, huh? Uh-huh. And you know, these are something that you can easily just sit down and be like, nom, nom, nom. This bag will be gone before the end of the night, between mm -hmm. both of us. We got shrimp chips. It's a seafood <laughs> snack night, even though it's not even like real seafood. Mm. All right, you Very guys. true. We're going to go on our way, and we're going to go and finish this bag of crab chips and our shrimp chips shrimp they're not like chips or you guys have already seen them they're like super common they're like they look like little sticky shrimps but they're like air puff like rice crackers or something mm -hmm. like that with shrimp flavoring sounds weird actually really good don't knock until you try it stay tuned for another snack that we're trying from h mart la has been experiencing just the most hot weather it's a heat wave uh. so when we came uh home today i was like we need to eat this ice cream bar that's literally been sitting in the fridge since we bought it. I don't know why it wasn't the first thing we ate, but this is, and you probably I'm have I'm glad we it. have it now, though. This is true. And you probably have seen it all over TikTok, maybe Reels, if that's starting to take, who knows? I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's been all over TikTok. Uh, and Here it's it been is. super popular. It is a... That's too close, baby. Oh. There. I just, I just had to yell at it. We are finally now going to taste it. Apparently, it's really good, really good. We got it at H Mart. It was not cheap for four ice cream bars. It was like $7.99. We almost didn't get it, but then... But everyone's like, oh my gosh, those are the best. So, so we were like, okay, Of course, fine. we have to get it. One for well, you. Okay, well, the packaging alone, it's pretty solid. Ooh, Look at that. it's a fancy package. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Okay. I shall make. am very, very excited. Oh. Yeah, so it looks like it's got, uh, and there's no like other description I can't, I mean, obviously if you've had boba milk tea Ooh. or brown sugar milk tea, they basically put that in an ice cream bar. Yay. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a, give it a taste. Oh, it's smaller than I expected. Yeah, I expected for two bucks a piece, these would be a little bit bigger, but. but the brown sugars were all. It smells it's, really good, mm -hmm. you guys. All right. Dink. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my, my god, it's so good. It's soft. What? It's it, it's like it, it tastes like a frozen. And the boba is nice milk. and chewy. It's not hard. Sometimes yeah. You, you know how sometimes if you don't finish your boba tea and you. Mm. Kind of put it in the fridge and then like a couple of minutes later or ten minutes later you go and get it And then the boba is like a little bit hard and a little bit too chewy. You know, this mm -hmm. is like it's still bouncy um, mm -hmm. and The ice cream itself. It's so velvety soft. I feel like I Just my mouth just dove into the softest pillow of brown sugar milk tea ever. This is Worth the seven ninety nine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now I really do get now why people are like, oh no 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 no, those are the best. You got to get them. They are really good. Oh if my god! If you've got a chance to get these, these are amazing. Find your. This is look hashtag not sponsored, but also go to your H Mart or your maybe they have it at um, ninety nine Ranch. Go and get this immediately. You need it in mm -hmm. your life. I need it in my life. H Mart and the ice cream dessert so far. Oh my god. <laughs> it is so good. I want to cry. <laughs> so we are going to consume these because we need our intimate moment with our ice cream. <laughs> so we'll see you in but, the... Oh. Sorry, before we go, I just want to let you know that um, so far, because I've been just munching away, munching away, the flavor and the sugar... It's distributed really nicely throughout the entire ice cream bar so far, and there's been boba in every single bite. So mm -hmm. uh, I am a satisfied customer. You can bet that I will spend another $7.99 to get another box of these. Mm -hmm. All right, see you in the next clip. Finally, we're getting to the drinks. Uh, we have picked up, and this was based on a lot of re recommendation, the banana milk that Dustin had in his hand is something that I have had before and I love it, but he's actually never tried it. So I'm super excited for him to try. And this one here is, I don't know the exact pronunciation. I think it's called Milkus. Um, and 
they were they only had the original flavor available but there's other flavors that I was hoping to get and they only have this one so we're gonna go ahead and try it and this is a refreshing milk and yogurt flavor hmm. do you want to do yours sure. first banana milk banana milk step here all right does it make you feel like a kid <laughs> a little a bit, little bit. <laughs> having like the little juice box like a Capri Sun but better Ooh. uh-huh Ooh, I uh -huh. like that that I really like that Mm, it's very, it's now, very... Now, I have um, to make one for you where, um, I used to do this, where you take the banana milk, a little bit of ice, mm -hmm. um, I used to do like half of a banana, you blend it all together. Ooh. I used to, I don't know, I don't know if that's the correct way to do it, I just started doing it, and I liked it, and... It's very creamy, very refreshing. It's not like over, f uh, powerful banana flavor or yeah. scent, and it also, it doesn't taste like, you know how sometimes you do banana, and I can think of like, maybe like, mm -hmm. I can Mike as a... As no, a, that's exactly what I was thinking. That, that, that fake, that overly banana flavor. Yeah. You're just like, Ugh. like, like you're drinking a car, a car freshener or something like that. If you had a <laughs> banana a car way. freshener, so mm. I'm glad you like mm. it. It's so good. Yes, this is a delicious. Mm. Okay, but yeah, one very creamy, sip, sip. very uh, uh, <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, oh, did you squeeze it? No. <laughs> now we're going to try it. The milk is. People go crazy over. I've seen it on TikTok. I've seen it out on now reels. By Instagram and they're like you know five things you must get from H Mart and oh, yeah. I, I watch every single one of those videos and I was like okay what do I need to get and I write them down <laughs> this is something that's recommended they also recommended a ton of the other flavors and like I said they didn't have it but uh, hmm. we'll try it when we go back Milk and we'll yogurt, definitely huh? get some some of the different flavors I wasn't expecting it to have bubbles oh it has so bubbles? I'm glad I didn't accidentally shake it <laughs> It's got bubbles, no caffeine. Oh, it, I just didn't read the bottle right because it literally says, new feeling of soda be beverage, no caffeine, no preservatives, and no corn syrup. Oh. Mm. Okay, so I'm preparing myself for a more bubbly kind of a drink. So, now that you've had a sip, it reminds me of a Calpico soda. Yeah. That's but actually, it's, mm. a, it's a... But more I, like it's like lighter, more refreshing, and less of the yogurty aftertaste. Yes, of a but it still has. Um, oh, it also kind of has like without the pineapple, make it more of like a creamy milk of a cactus cooler. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Now it kind of has that. It has that initial <laughs> flavor, but then it has that of a creaminess. Cactus cooler? Yeah. I mean... Maybe. I haven't had Cactus Cooler for a really long time. Same. But when I had this, something in my memory just went, Cactus Cooler. Sure. Maybe, maybe that's all it is. It's just a whisper of that. You know, but instead didn't... of like that trap... Okay, because I think Cactus Coolers are more like of a pineapple flavor, right? This is... Yeah, it's like a pineapple orange. I don't know. It's been years since I've mm -hmm. had Cactus Cooler. It's not something we typically bought. But whenever I did someone see someone have one, I'd be like, ooh, mm. that sounds real good. Like throwback cactus cooler. Yeah, it's kind of like one of those thro throwback moments. You're just like, oh, I haven't had one of these in so long. I've also never had a cactus cooler until I moved to LA. Oh. We didn't have them in Florida. Well, it makes maybe, sense. Maybe we do now, but. More of like a West Coast kind of a thing. Yeah, but I, I mean, these are both equally good, but this is like a top fave for me. Oh my God, I this is amazing. I have always loved this. If I were to ever make a TikTok five things you must get from H Mart, this would be it. It's mm -hmm. so, so, so good. Mm. Uh, all right, you guys. Well, that's it for this clip. Join us. Well, stay tuned for uh, other snacks from H Mart. For our final selection, we have, what else? Flavored Oreos. I saw them and I couldn't resist. We may have seen these before. So what Dustin has in his hands, tell him about it. Well, this one's a creme brulee. No. And what? What did I say? Oh, I'm sorry. Tiramisu. Wasn't there a creme brulee one that we did have though? Maybe. Or, actually, if we haven't tried the creme brulee Oreo, I want to try those next. The but best go is... in Oreo. If you're listening, you can uh, talk to the movie couple <laughs> about uh, using our uh, creme brulee idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, no, but this is a tiramisu. My apologies. But, I mean, this is a thin one. I mean, it looks like there's hardly anything yeah, in that. Yeah. I'm curi really curious about this one. I'm guessing that one's going to have the kind of a stereotypical kind of strawberry flavor. Right, so mine, you revealed mine before I even oh. got to tell him about it. But this Sorry. is the this is the strawberry Oreos, and this is just normal Oreo size. It's not um, 
a thin one like the it's weird because they had these right next to each other but one was thin and one was strawberry so the one thing i did want to point out was that for the tiramisu one i know the u.s did get a tiramisu version oh i just couldn't find it anywhere my friends gotten it but they don't live close to me so with the target they went to had it and so I guess it's just we found like ours a at H Mart. Yeah, so we found ours at H Mart, and I was like, "Sold." We'll take it. We'll take it. So this one is described just as strawberry cream. Which one do you want to try first? Um, why don't we try the tiramisu okay. one? I'm excited. Tiramisu is one of my favorite desserts. Mm -hmm. And I'm really curious on how they did this. So oh wow! The, oh god, so oh, cute. Show them. They're in like a little tiny packet, just yeah. like that big. I got it. There we go. That's cute. So there are. What is it? Um. Oreo minis to go, kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Oreo thins Two to packs. go. Yep. They're Whoa, so they thin. they are super thin. They're like Look cracker at these. thin. Look at that. I have to take my. Do, 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 do. Yeah, look how thin it is. All right. So how do you want to do? We just bite hmm. into it. Do we? I think we should do just, just the one bite. straight taste test first, okay. and then with the milk. Dink. The Oreo and the tiramisu actually goes very well together. There's something about the Oreo thins or thin Oreos mm -hmm. that really wow. speaks to the way, like, as far as the texture and the crunch goes. Something different about it. That I, I feel like I can eat this entire sleeve in one sitting. Mm -hmm. Can't say that with regular Oreos. Like the regular... I can say that about some Oreos. <laughs> But Sometimes you just into um. Um, yeah, they got like a nice that that coffee liqueur mm -hmm. tiramisu smell. So I'm gonna go ahead. I still got a little bit of cream left on this one, so I'm gonna taste it. Oh, just the cream on itself, and it has a nice snap to it that I really I like. I like these. Oh, I, I mean, want to find the regular size ones. <laughs> yeah, just get the um. It's weird how it's so hard to find some of these sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's because they're super popular, and anytime they get put on the shelves, they get taken off pretty quickly. Or if it's just the fact that they're not really, you know, getting the distribution I as much these. as that. I love these. I'm in love. These are really good. I highly recommend these. Dunk mine in milk. And I wonder how different it would be between the thin ones and the regular size ones. How many times do you guys dunk? How long do you guys leave your Oreos in for? Comment below. Let me know. I watch it as it drips. And when it drips out, like just barely, then I know it's sopped up, and then I eat it. And then uh. I eat it! <laughs> okay. Mmm. I like to actually soak in mine. Mm. Sometimes if I want, I will, I'll put it on like the end of a fork, and I'll just let it sit in there for a little you bit. You fork trick, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it's so good! Oh, I'm excited now. Okay, here we go, here we go. It's good always. By itself, if you want to twist it off, and kind of like eat the cream and then the cookies later mm. or with the milk. I, oh mm. wow. That is really good. Mm, we're definitely buying these again. Whoa, yeah. So this is the box. This is what it looks like. If you guys want it. Now, should we try the strawberry? Yes, let's move Upside on. Down. All right, so the strawberry, I wonder oh. if they're also... Um, Navi's looking at us going, hey guys. I don't think these are in try a some? two pack. Oh, they maybe they are. Yep, they are. They're oh. also in individually wrapped packs. Cool, cool. Cute. Okay. Yeah, our dog is off camera. <laughs> wagging. She's now she's sitting and she's putting on her cute face. Navi, go lay down. She's you're go not down, you definitely face. cannot have Oreos. Mm -hmm. Okay. One for oh, okay. Interesting. One for Dustin. One Thank for me. You. Right off the bat, oh. the smells really, really good to me. It smells like um, you guys know those those. Uh, there's two ways I can describe this. Those um, biscuit cookie sticks that you dip oh, yeah, in the pock. chocolate. They're not pockies, but it's kind of like pocky, like a strawberry pocky mm -hmm. smell. That kind of a strawberry cream is what I'm smelling, or something that you would get in a in a koala, like a yeah, like a yes. yummy koala. It's if you got the strawberry cream. But I have to say, I'm going to twist mine, the coloring on the package versus the coloring of this, this is like 
pale, pale, pale blush baby pink. And then this one this on is the more package. Like off white, yeah. Yeah, and on the package, it's definitely more intense. Pink. I'm gonna taste the cream. Oh, okay. Are you gonna do the the by yourself first? I'll do what you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's try it. Tink. Let's try it on its own. Hmm. Okay. You know what? I'm finding something different about these Oreos. The cookies are crisper. Mm-hmm. Actually, like, I would, yeah. I they would taste definitely better agree than traditional Oreos. What is this? I don't know. I mean, you're right. It does have a little bit more of a crisp kind of fresher kind of a flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In a, mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. Whereas, you know, normal Oreos... A little bit denser. Yes, that's actually a perfect way of saying it. Or a little bit more dense. I would say maybe they put like a little bit more oil mm -hmm. into the batch. More butter. To, more butter. More shortening. Mm-hmm. To make it a little bit more um, addictive. Does right. this mean we're gonna have to get Oreos from the HMR from now on? Mm -hmm. Not that I'm complaining, I'm just just for clarification. I'm gonna taste the cream. Mmm. I forgot to do that. I actually like this. I didn't think I was gonna like it that much. I thought maybe it would taste too artificial. Mm -hmm. But it's actually not bad. That's what I was gonna think. When I first smelled it, it kind of reminded me of like strawberry bubblegum. Oh no. To where that's a good kind of flavor to have like in, in a um, gum. Yeah, in a gum. But to have it in an Oreo, you're just kind of like that weird kind of chemically kind of Doesn't strawberry go smell. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. but this one I like. This is mm -hmm. actually a, this is like the, what you said. It's kind of like the um, flavor that's on Pocky or inside um, one of those pandas. Mm -hmm. Hello, so. pandas. <laughs> now we've got to try it with milk to see if we can now have a good oh. strawberry and cream mix. Yum, guys. Yeah. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Dang. We're going to have to try, like, more of the weird flavors that they are. We have to see what they have. Mm-hmm. Because now I'm a These were the only two different ones. Okay, here you are, my love. Mmm. <clears throat> oh, wow. It, Is it still good? Like strawberry milk? It, mm-hmm. And it really um, sops up that milk. Since it's kind of a drier, crisper kind of... Um, Oh, cookie. okay, I like the science. There's uh, more, like, I guess it's more there. porous, and it really sucks up that um, milk. Oh, really good. It was, it was, it went together very, very well. You guys, I can't. It added just a nice, even better creaminess because mm. of the milk, and it mixed with the strawberry. This is me, I can't have American Oreos again. <laughs> That's what probably the heck? it. These are so good. You guys, get both of these. Both of mm -hmm. these are awesome. Get them. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy we ended our H Mart um, taste test with these two. Well, you guys, that is the end of this H Mart taste test video. If you enjoy these, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps us a lot. Comment below what uh, you thought was, uh, I don't know, something that would taste good, but then it ended up not tasting great for us, and, mm -hmm. and vice versa, and also, um... Any recommendations? Yes, that's any it. recommendations that you were like, oh, you guys have to try this, I'm always excited to get food recommendations of something I've never tried before. So comment below, like, and share, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!